respected dignitaries on and off the dais invited guests ladies and gentlemen a very good morning to you all dear friends we have shri brijesh dholakia the chief guest of the event he is the second generation diamond tier of hari krishna export private limited a leading diamond manufacturer and exporter based in india sir i request you to enlighten the audience good morning to one and all आपका बूट कैम्प शुरू हो रहा है एंड आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर माई एक्सपीरियंस माई जर्नी हाउ मेनी आर क्यूरियस यू नो आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट आई आई रीड योर फेस इज बट देर आर नॉट मैनी क्वेश्चन मार्क आई सी वैन आई यू नो सी ईच अदर एट अ यंग एज आई एम हियर हाउ मेनी आर क्यूरियस टू नो वाई एम आई हियर सो ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन आई विल शेयर यू डिड यू हियर अबाउट माई फैमिली और माई कंपनी एवर बिफोर येस very less by end of my talk you will all say no we knew already so now i'm going to share you about the tradition about the values of our family the journey starts with my uncle sauji bai dulakia he is the founder and visionary for our family our company everyone in the dais sitting here knows him and uh, the journey starts as our village is in amreli district which is 600 kilometers from surat and my grandfather wanted uh, all four kids meaning my uncle my father that either you study and if you don't want to study no problem you can go to the city so everyone from our village used to go to surat as uh, polishing some of them could even start a company so my father at the age of 12 when he turned after my uh, sauji uncle came to surat he also came as a polisher to surat polishing for more than 10 years then they thought you know how how about starting an you know small business unit that we can you know serve the family so that point the purpose was a family if we earn some money my grandmother had said three things to my uncle be a good man uh, have some money and have a fame in the society so with the three goals till date at the end of the journey you will know what could three goals of my grandmother gave to my uncle and where we have reached today so after uh, all four brothers came together in 1992 and started hari krishna exports which you see uh, uh, in surat everyone in surat i mean i know there are lot many government officers or uh, uh, ministers or uh, vvips or retailers or even from us the main of the chain stores also come to surat right now because surat has become the hub in diamond industry if 10 diamonds are polished in the world nine are in surat so we don't consider gujarat or india in a map it's directly surat so every retailer or a chain stores or a luxury brands have to come surat so we are in that city so diamond city so everyone feels proud and we are feeling honored and always feeling proud that we can showcase a manufacturing facility and we always welcome anyone who wants to visit the factory coming back to the journey in second generation we are eight brothers the eldest brothers manages um, jewelry business the other second one manages procurement of rough third one manages was into real estate but i will tell you how we have been trained in second generation that it could be utilized so every second generation whether they want to come in diamond business or not they have to learn manufacturing processes and i will start with my journey after introducing my eight brothers so third one was into real estate now managing a portfolio of lab grown diamonds fourth one my elder brother man, uh, manages the whole manufacturing facility me i will tell you about my journey learning manufacturing and sales uh, sixth one is into sales now he is uh, learning 3 years of manufacturing and then went into sales seventh one is key right now when we are uh, gathered here for entrepreneurship he is he has started startup so i will also end up a story with him and eighth one just finished his uh, uh, masters from babson university in us and now he is going to be with sauji uncle for one year thinking about what he will do he he do not have to plan anything whether he wants to come in diamond business or anything but for one year he will be always together wherever sauji uncle goes so now when i start with my journey i finished my uh, college in 2011 and i directly came to surat so in second generation you have to be with sauji uncle for 3 years learning manufacturing and how it uh, 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 it helps i will tell you the story with my brother he he was trained for manufacturing and then he chose that he wants to go into real estate business in a down the line my uncle also wanted one of the brother to handle the uh, land that we have because my uncle used to invest 5% of whatever we earn every year into land we were not into real estate but my uncle thought if we have land why not we all can also start real estate 
But after 10 years, since he had learned manufacturing, and we see Utpal Bhai is here, since 7 years or 8 years, there is not much growth of real estate in Surat. He again thought, you know, since our family was going into lab grown, now he's managing the whole lab grown business. So he knew diamond business or manufacturing, that's why he's able to handle. So our training goes in a such a way that you must know manufacturing. Coming back to me, my uncle in two months thought, you know, with my uh, our partner's son, we were three every day having lunch together with my uncle and management. So uncle said, why don't we send these three boys who is just starting to train to a unit where they can set themselves. So they gave us a building and you start your own. So first thing, you know, within a week time, we three were thinking about what should we name our unit as? I said, HK Hari Krishna is our name and why not we say HK Hub? Uh, in the evening, we meet every day to my uncle and I said, we want to keep the name of our unit as HK Hub. He's like, what is Hub? My uncle and my father, they are just fourth grade, so they do not know much of English. And uncle says, if you feel that you want to keep it, you keep it, no problem. But down the line, my plan was, how can we, you know, be center of Hare Krishna exports? As journey started, in three years, we had 300 employees. Uh, uh, Utpal Bhai knows that we already transformed our unit into Ichapur campus, where in 2017, Prime Minister inaugurated the facility which was named by us HK Hub. Think about the vision that my uncle wanted to give into second generation, how to set up the manufacturing facility. So this story says, you know, second generation must know how to set up the facility or if you don't have anything, still you should be able to start something on your own. That was the logic behind starting the facility. Going again further to my story, then the family wanted someone in Mumbai for marketing and sales. Utpal Bhai knows I am the only one in our family and the industry who knows both the parts. Sometimes if someone knows manufacturing, they have not been trained into sales. So then I went to Mumbai for almost about five years in Mumbai to learn about sales and marketing and when there was a need and that phase was all about IT so I was keep checking into our ERP system wherein whenever I say something the IT guy says it's not happening so in two years I, I did not even say anything because I was just grabbing and Utpal Bhai will agree with me the Google bar was launched about in 2014 and 15 and I asked our IT guys that you know I want to put up a bar into our website wherein customer can just search, they can write it down, you know, what diamond they want to find. It was not about filter, ultimately it was all about filter in diamond industry to search the engine. So they were saying no. I said this is not going to happen with us, if we want to, ha you know, in if you want to be innovative, this company is not for us. I transformed the whole ERP and then launched first platform of our website that had a Google bar kind of a same thing in diamond industry. Now I think everyone uses it. but. This is routine. What I'm trying to say, you have to keep evolving. So if I knew sales and marketing, then now after seven years of training, think about it. Do you want to invest into training so that you can lead the company? Right now, I, I know you all are here to find your own purpose in your life, whether what you want to do. That's why I'm sharing my story. I'm not here to advise anyone here. I see I'm the youngest in the stage to share our family and tradition here. But you, you, you let any of my brothers stand, it will be the kind of same story because everyone has evolved in second generation. Again, when I say when Prime Minister inaugurated factory, my uncle thought, you know, what can we give back to the nation when Prime Minister is coming and giving 36 minutes of the nation? My uncle wrote a letter that, you know, we will make a big lake where there is need of water and scarcity. So where we come from in Amreli district, out of all 33 district in Gujarat, Amreli is the last one. So my uncle thought, you know, if we give water to the farmers, I guess the problem will be solved. So we, you know, in four months, my uncle started, you know, with the machineries and excavations. In four months, the lake was ready. And uh, of course, small story in between, the, the family had planned a U.S. trip. So my uncle had a choice whether to keep working on the lake or go to the family in U.S. and enjoy. My uncle sent the whole family. I was still standing there. And he said, you continue, I will join you guys. After a few days, again, you guys want to only do shopping, right? So you can continue. But if I work here, my task will be finished. So in next four months, my uncle worked very hard, 18 hours, 45 degree in Amreli. The lake was ready and during monsoon, the water was filled. So exactly 17th April in 2017, the uh, uh, Prime Minister of India inaugurated the factory. And 17th September, again, Prime Minister was coming to Amreli. My uncle again went to Delhi and reminded, I had written a letter, the lake is ready, lake is filled, please inaugurate. 
again prime minister said you know okay we will come and inaugurate inauguration was also done my uncle was so happy that if prime minister inaugurate the lake why can't we have a mission of a family that we will make 100 lakes 100 lakes i took a pause to check if everyone is alert or not so that i can continue with the story or change the topic so again when we completed 75 lakes again we went to prime minister to give invite of my younger brother's wedding and said what we had promised you about 100 lakes we have almost completed 75 lakes prime minister was so happy and shocked as well if one man can complete 75 lakes he, he announced in the whole every district of india make 75 lakes so all the collectors were ready you know to implement the same idea what my uncle did after completing 100 my you know uncle was so happy and keen to work towards the water i will also tell you what was the reason behind it but after sharing the same news with prime minister my uncle was awarded padma shri award so everyone would know about it so many times you know director sir has called him and share his story with on the many occasions and convocations i'm first time here to share you know the family tradition here so after completing 100 lakes then we took up a mission as i mentioned about the story that 7 years of training past 6 years i have always been with him meaning wherever he goes many times i have come to svnit and that's why director sir knows me if he goes to any of the weddings i still remember uncle was invited in rasal khaima in uae for a wedding then two people goes right my uncle said you have to come with me i never said no that they did not invite me and why would i go it's uncle's thought that you have to be here and we have to go you will not believe one of the um, uh, member from the wedding who we had met we had been in close contact he donated 100000 dollar machine to our foundation that you are doing so nice work we want to donate the machine that you can do much more likewise why i am sharing all this is because i had been with him i was able to grasp and you know help the whole supply chain so learning manufacturing and sales now i'm connecting the social work that we are doing of course 6 years when i said but starting 3 years i was just documenting the activities that we do you must have here a company in diamond industry gave away cars flats and jewelry to their employees that's our company so as i said at the end of the story I, you will all know that oh you already knew the company so in 2014 in surat you know i will i will share you a small thing but but it is a major thing for my uncle he had been a polisher so he knew when diamonds are polished here and brands like you know utpal bhai knows tiffany when they sell that doesn't come down the line in surat the polishers are not getting as much as they should so my uncle wanted to increase the standard of living average salary in surat is 500 dollars a month we started giving much more to them also we started uh, ma- maximizing their skill and right now the average salary is 1500 dollars a month in our company so we started thinking how can we grow how can we increase the standard of living of our employees that was the thought process so uh, uh, my uncle started helping all the employees and wanted to increase the standard of living so after you get money the basic necessities are you know if you have a house like a bigger house if you have a car like a small car then it's a bigger car so my uncle thought you know we must give them their own house if they are working with us so first preference is they have their own house if you do not have a house then you don't get a car so first preference is the car so out of 6000 employees 1200 people were been awarded such a uh, gift as a diwali bonus when we had gathered you had seen the photo in the newspaper nobody knew who are going to get everyone were called with their families and everyone were sitting there and names were been called so who did not get were been motivated so likewise we had done already three times 2014 2016 and 2018 one of the time also uh, prime minister also had hand over the keys and again i had a privilege to go there and take our employees a couple of them in delhi and he had what video conferencing motivated all the employees so down the line my uncle always wanted to you know of course give back to the society but he thought first think about our employees so whenever you know you start something of your own think about others they must grow with you i mean my uncle feels and definitely he has never seen the balance sheet balance sheet would be a positive utpal bhai knows whole finances works from mumbai and younger brother of sauji bhai is handled the finance and sales and marketing but my uncle has always thought about giving back so once the employees are happy and you know they were their standard of living and everything was increased now since i'm with him i had seen what is he doing in past 7 years 
now second generation were coming over he wanted to delegate the responsibility so he did not wanted to sit in main cabin and take all the daily decisions so again started working for the lakes his beneath the mind it was how can second generation take over the lead and taking the responsibility so if if you know in one year if something happens he can come and take over the uh, rope again but so down the line seven years my uncle worked for water conservation project and ganshyam uncle and the second generation took over all the responsibility so likewise why i'm sharing that you know this is the family tradition family values has been taken over in second generation i know it is long time but you see what my uncle wanted to do for the employees for the society that's what has been growing the company ultimatum when i say that 100 lakhs were over what's next so chief minister of gujarat bupendra bhai patel before two years he called uncle i know that you know this river you are going to finish where there is scarcity of water and you are digging and broadening we want to do four rivers in gujarat my uncle was like yeah we can do it no problem he come out and since i was always with him he said we need 100 machines and when we were doing uh, 100 lakhs we had only 20 machines i will tell you since the youth is here uh, last year there was water conference happening in united nations my I, my third child was supposed to born in us so usually i go once a year but that point of time i went three times and one of the time when i went i knew that there is water conference happening and i said to my uncle uncle there is water conference happening he's like yeah so what i was like i think we should participate and you know represent and showcase our work i think people can learn you know if if we are doing in river there are lot many rivers in the world so my uncle said okay if you feel like you do it my uncle always motivate second generation that if you think you want to do it do it never said no for any of the reason and i know since we started hk hub any proposal i give he never said no because small mistakes you will learn why not be motivated rather than you know when what if he feels that this is not be major mistakes he will never stop i still remember we had changed the timings of the factory seven times in one and a half years he always wanted to innovate regular business is already working and in small unit if you if you try out doesn't make uh, you know big difference so likewise he had all, all, always motivated so in united conference when i went there i found a girl who's working for a climate change at united nation and she was an intern i said why don't you get the delegate in amreli and what work we have done we can showcase in two months they all came to amreli directly so from america to amreli we were showcasing our work now that lady is heading the foundation she is the ceo of foundation why i am sharing this when i uncle said 100 machines i said her name is kaza kaza we need 100 machines right now we have 60 machines been donated by some organization working for durake foundation so when when you are doing good for the society ultimately you also get nature connected and how the dots been connected if i did not go and my child was not supposed to born in us i would have not gone to us that time so this is how now i am connecting dots with the business what nature gives back so training is done business is well set now what we are doing for the society i know everyone in our industry and globally in other industry people are talking about sdg goals how many would have hear about it how many sdg goals 17 when i put down our employees and customers activity in each of them i could segregate everything meaning whatever we are doing blood donation you can put it in goal number 3 well being and health well, if you are working for water there is life below the water above the water we planted 3.2 million trees meaning 32 lakh trees we have planted how we connect every customer visit to our booth we plant a tree in a way my uncle wanted to do why not you connect with the business and social together we have kishna diamond jewelry brand anyone hear about kishna diamond jewelry good every piece of jewelry we sell in the store we will plant a tree so such things we are already connecting with my uncles and family's passion so why i'm sharing is when you think about nature nature will give you back for sure so when you are thinking about uh, entrepreneurship innovation is already written and design thinking you would have heard about lot of words coming in our uh, day to day life about thinking something else so we as a family has always been grown because we were thinking how can we give back to the society now how how did we grow is because of the employees because customers bought from us miners gives rough to us that is why we could grow we honored each of them with lake meaning the beers who supplying us the rough we honored a lake because of them we were able to grow 
to our employees to our customers there is a laboratory called GIA and IGI who graded the diamonds that is why we were able to sell the diamonds we honored a lake on their behalf the world's largest retailer called signet we are the largest supplying uh, uh, jewelry and diamonds to them we honored a lake to them this is why we were able to do when uncle started focusing much more on plants and what uh, water conservation project i thought now it should be global not just you know limiting to gujarat or india that's why we started collaborating with all of them so uh, this is how we were able to grow our business when you talk about particularly about me we are eight brothers why am i here is just because i had always been with my uncle learning what he's doing what he's uh, thinking about who is he meeting to wherever he has gone even to meet prime minister i had always with, with him wedding without invitation i was with him going to svnit i was with him so day and night you will not believe during corona i was the only one in room with him when he was having covid 19 so never the point i have left him in past 6 years so i know what is he all thinking about and how can we grow now you'll think training is done social is done and then what i am able to help all the eight brothers that we have in family i still remember you know the younger brother dravya as i mentioned that i will end up the story with him he when he finished his training of one and a half year he said papa i don't want to join diamond business sauji uncle is like i am the only one son of course the seven are like son but he said you are the only one and you don't want to join diamond industry he is like papa you had always been saying this is relating to you know your boot camp as well you have always been saying that you must think you know big and you should become ambani's and uh, tata you must have you know become big if we even do uh, everything that we could we will never become ambani's in our industry because our industry is smaller than the ambani's then my uncle said okay no problem but what you want to do he said i want to you know um, invest in the startups thinking about how can we help people uncle said ah then it's fine that you know you're thinking how can you help people meaning small entrepreneurs at a seed level if someone needs money okay we will provide it thinking about the idea so uncle said two things either the idea should be great then it will work and the founders must be good by values and traditions then also it will be okay anyone from surat comes uncle said at least 500000 you must give anyone coming from surat so this was the brain child starting behind startup in our company when we talk about the family tradition and everything dulakya ventures was started by younger brother and he need also connections he said you know he wants to meet here there everywhere again we take him and trained him for few years and now already invested in 89 companies think about if you want to invest in 89 companies you have to have a research of thousands so some come from diamond industry some come from real estate some come from technology he has to come back to all the six elder brothers what is your view on it you think about the business is also such that everyone communicates so my uncle and my father and they always thinks how can we you know all be together also you have your own passion you should be able to grow so this is a, i mean small thing that i am going to share i'm not sure what time i have been feeling but there is a lot that we can share thank you patiently listening to me thank you